Hi. I'm going to show you how Bluetooth File Center works using this sample application. It has two main functions, one for searching devices and the other one to transfer a file to a specific device. We need to have look away running in the background. The first time you run it, you have to select the Java WEXE file, which is here, and this location for me. Just select it. Now we see this hello Java started message telling us that Java started correctly. And now we have to turn on our Bluetooth on our device. Also we have to set it as visible so we can find it when we press the search button. Okay, it's done. Now search devices. We see some Java text tracing here that tells us what's going on. We wait a bit till we find something. Okay, here it is. We have two events here on device found and on search complete that let us know when the searching process has ended. Now we select the address of the device copy and paste it here and we're ready to press the download my file mp3 we get this message on the phone yep I'm going to type just four zeros okay yep just accept all the incoming connections and the file starts transferring. I'm using a USB Bluetooth thing since my laptop doesn't have one in integrated there. Uh, that sound is because the battery is running out. And 65% Yes, I'm, yes, you can transfer MP3 files, um, JPF, or whatever format you want. Here we have it. And that's it. That's it. We are, oh yeah. The file can start it, it's an, an event that also is being dispatched so you know when the the transferring process has started you can show an animation or something and on send file complete event which is pretty self-explanatory and that's it that's how it works